Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the GMMK, or Glorious Modular Mechanical Keyboard from Glorious PC Gaming Race. There's no denying that once you start going down the rabbit hole of mechanical keyboards, probably eventually you'll want to either build or customize your own. And that's where keyboards like the GMMK come in, with hot swappable switch slots, uh, which lets you just plug in whatever switches you want to get a completely different feel and sound to your keyboard at any moment. So let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So right off the bat, uh, the one that I have here is the compact version. Uh, there are three different versions of the GMMK from Glorious. This compact one is a 61 key layout, and then they also have a 10 key list, and then also a full size as well. On the compact, it does forego, you know, some of the navigation buttons for the small compact design, but a lot of those are accessible easily by using the uh, function key, which is down here. And then on this keyboard with the pre-built uh, switches and keycaps, uh, the keycaps do also have a bunch of little labeling, which tells you what a lot of those secondary functions are. So it's easy to find commands like delete and all of your arrow keys, page up, page down, all those different things. Taking a look at the rest of the design here, you can tell it has a very clean, uh, minimal design to it. You can tell this is pretty blacked out, but it does have a shiny, I think it's the aluminum, which the faceplate is made from, uh, has this little border around it, which adds a nice little accent. You can also see that it is wired. Uh, it has a removable USB plug. Um, obviously, would have loved to have seen USB-C in this, um, but this keyboard has been around for a while. This design has been around for a while. So we'll plug that back in. You can see the lights light up on there, and then it goes right back to the RGB setting that I had. On the back of the keyboard, um, you'll obviously see the standard, you know, extendable feet to get a little bit higher, a little more rise if you want. But then you also see the keycap puller, which is located and mounted right here on the bottom of the keyboard. So that's easy to pull out if you want to start working on your keyboard and making some adjustments. And because you can hot swap the switches as well, it does come with a uh, switch puller. I'm a little bit curious why they didn't, you know, mount that on the bottom as well. If they went as far as to uh, mount the keycap puller on there, I don't, don't know why they didn't put the switch puller on there, but it does come in a separate bag and it's still easy to access. The rest of the design feels really solid. Uh, it has some substantial weight to it. Um, and overall, I've been really impressed with the build quality and construction on the GMMK. So obviously swapping out switches is one of the highlights on the GMMK, and that's really easy to do with the included keycap puller and switch puller. On this compact layout, the 61 key layout, it takes probably between 20 and 40 minutes to do a complete uh, switch swap. Um, but if you had a larger one, that would obviously take a little bit longer just because you have more switches. And I have noticed on other um, keyboards like the Drop Alt, some switches are easier to remove and some switches are harder. So depending on what switches you have, the time that it takes to swap out all these uh, may vary a little bit. The one that I have here is the default pre-built GMMK Compact. So that comes with Gateron brown switches already installed. Obviously these are a MX style and also have that same kind of MX brown tactility to them. And we'll do a quick sound test here so you can hear how that sounds. When you're purchasing one of these keyboards though, you can also select to customize your keyboard. And there in those options, you can either choose the bare bones, which uh, actually brings the price down to $60, which is pretty incredible for this keyboard. Or you can select a wide variety of MX style switches if you have a specific one that you like. There are also a few different keycap options as well, uh, black and white and a few other ones. So be sure to check all those out to see what they look like. The compact, 10 keyless and full size pre-built all come in at $110. And as you've probably noticed on here, we've talked about a little bit, um, there is, you know, full RGB throughout all the, all the switches on here. A lot of those different lighting settings can be adjusted just on the keyboard through those secondary functions. But if you really want to customize the RGB look, then you can also download the GMMK software from Glorious. There are quite a few default configurations that you can choose from, but if you also want to build out your own custom design um, for, you know, if you're playing an FPS game and you want to highlight the keys that you use, uh, that's something you can easily do in there too. And while you're in that app, you can also set up macros. With such a small keyboard like this with a compact, I bet that could come in really handy, but I haven't personally set up any macros for how I use the keyboard. 
So overall in use, uh, the GMMK feels great. The weight to it makes it feel very sturdy. Um, it has a nice angle to it. I really enjoy a small, compact keyboard for gaming just because I can you know, get it out of the way and leave a lot of room for my mouse. And with the ability to hot swap switches, it's easy to customize this thing to however you want it to feel and sound and perform. Price-wise for value, at just uh, $60 for the bare bones if you want to install your own switches, uh, that seems like a really good deal for this. In comparison with the Drop Alt, which we have back there, the bare bones version of that is $140. So you do get obviously a few more switches on that, uh, has a little more functionality, and there's the RGB ring around the perimeter. But if you're just looking to, you know, start dipping your toe into customizing your keyboard and swapping out switches and playing around with all of those, then the GMMK is a great way to do that. So what do you think of the glorious PC Gaming Race GMMK Compact Keyboard? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.